Hi, I'm Adrian Bowles, founder of Storm Insights. Recently had a chance to talk with Andreas Hauser. He's a senior VP and global head of SAP's Design and Co-Innovation Center. We talked about the changing and more demanding expectations um, of enterprise software users and developers, and also the role good design can play in fostering innovation. Here are some of the highlights from that wide-ranging discussion. My name is Andreas Hauser. I'm Senior Vice President and leading a team called Design and Co-Innovation Center. We offer design services for customers. Consumer user experience is setting the standard for enterprise applications. If you at home use your iPad and order at Amazon a book, and the next morning you go to the office and use your SAP software to order a laptop, you expect the same simplicity and ease of use. What we currently see, we see a change in the industry, a shift from functions and features to experience. But from a customer point of view, it's finally about business value and money. And I make some examples. If you improve productivity of people, that they can do their job faster. If you reduce the number of errors people do, that means less costs. And finally, you can decrease training costs, offering one coherent user experience across all solutions. It's a very important step. If you now look at this shift from functions and features to experience, it is a cultural change which is happening. Because if you look what is needed to come to design innovation, you need to have the business skills. We are very good in that. You need to have the technology skills. We are also very good. But you also need to understand the needs of the people who use the solution. And that means you need to have design skills, people who know how to engage with end users in the process, who know how to leverage design thinking methodologies. And I think this is one of the secrets. You need to get all these three elements together, people with the same skills. And most important from my point of view is that these people have the right soft skills that they work together as one team. Because it does not help you to have a development geek who just wants to develop for iOS if your business requirement is bring your own device. And it's the same with the designer and same with the business person. You need to work together as one team. You need to apply design thinking methodology and an agile methodology from a process point of view to develop things faster and react to the needs of the end users. And now we come to what I started last year with my team, the Design and Co-Innovation Center. We started hiring about 50 designers globally and offering design services for customers. We started with customers complaining about usability of SAP. And what we always did in this case, first of all, we went to the end users at, on customer side to understand what the real issues are. And I like to tell one story. It's one, one, one of our first projects, but it's a pattern that we really saw at more than 400, 300 customer engagements. This was a customer, they bought web order management, had a partner implementing it, and potentially 2,000 hairdressers worldwide using the system to order products. Two were using it. Reason, bad usability of SAP. What we did, we took somebody from the customer organization, we flew to London, and a lucky guy in my team for three days observed in hairdresser salons in London how they work together with the customer. And what a customer recognized, said, oh, they all use Macintosh laptops. We did not know because the enterprise portal version that they deploy doesn't run ideally on the Macintosh. The next issue that was reported to us, creating a new user takes five days. At Amazon, it takes five seconds. The root cause, it was a manual process in the IT organization. And if this person didn't respond, it took longer. What our customers are realizing that many of the issues that we identify when we engage with end users can be solved with existing SAP tools. But more interestingly is that customers start realizing that they lack the design skills. They have business skills, have technology skills, but have challenges how to engage with end users. And for example, what we did in this case, we observed eight people, what their challenges are, what their needs are, and then we translated it into one design. And customer asked, how do you do that? We don't have the skills. Can you help us? And because of that, we now offer use experience design services for customers to help them on the journey to better involve their end users.
And what is happening in this industry currently, we work with really a lot of customers. Some of our big customers, they start building design skills in their IT organizations. They start building up a UX center of excellence because they see that they also need to get the skills internally within their organization because it's a cultural change. It's not just about hiring two designers in the IT organization uh, to fix the usability problem. It's really at looking at also your development process. How do you get the end users involved in your development process? Leveraging design thinking methodology and agile methodologies. You need to have the right people, business, technology and design skills. You need to have an agile process leveraging design thinking methodology. And what we also realized to come to innovation, the space where you work in is also a very important part because it helps you to get more creative. And we started 2011 with so-called app houses, which are creative environments where we started SAP internally, where developers, designers, product managers work together in an environment, applying design thinking methodology, working with customers. And last year, we did the next evolutionary step. We opened an app house in Heidelberg, which is completely customer focused. That means we invite customers into this location and jointly co-innovate on new solutions, help them understanding our strategy. We also invite end users to these activities. We do it in a new way. And we already had this year more than 2,000 people from customers joining us. And to be very honest, they are when they get into this environment, they first of all think this does look a little bit weird. It doesn't look like SAP. And, uh, um, but they all get out with a very positive feeling that in a very short time frame, they achieved something. And it's really about, it's really not about doing an eight hour presentation as we are typically doing this. It's about taking the people and working together as a team and doing something using design thinking methodology. If you look at designers, what is this space is about? Some people very often think, oh, these are just some artists doing some nice, cool, fancy stuff. You know, it's very important to get this element into it. And if you look at design, I would say there are four different kinds of skills that you need. You need to have people who can do user research. That means they interview end users, observe end users, and translate it into, a, into a requirements or a design. Because you should not just do what the user tells you. You first of all need to understand what is really his need and then translate it something. The second skill are interaction design skills that you can create prototypes, do an interaction flow and design the way how the user works. The third skills are visual design skills. And here it's really about colors, the emotional part, fonts, how does it feel for the end user. And the last skill are design thinking skills, how to moderate sessions how to coach people in applying the methodology. I think if you look at user experience and the way how people work with business software, we did in the last 13 years a lot of user research because we know exactly how people work with the solution. And to be very honest, it is, there are common patterns. There are about 38 different patterns. For example, people search in the same way. If you search for a purchase order or a sales order or an invoice, typically you do it in the same way. If you approve something, you want to do it in the same way. If you attach documents, you want to do it in the same way. And I think if you really put it on the user level, there are really common user interaction patterns uh, that apply to all business solutions. I think we have many customers speaking very, very positive. The next step for me is that we have real end users, hundreds of thousands, millions of end users finally who say, wow, that's cool. And my motivation is that somewhere in the near future, when I get to a bar and I say, I work for SAP in the usability area, they say, how did you do that?